Last year, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge took the world by storm. A year later, the LA ALS Association is still feeling that momentum going. The annual ALS Walk in Medford took place this morning, bringing in a crowd larger than ever before. Walking and rolling. Around 300 people gathered Sunday afternoon at Bear Creek Park in Medford for the annual Walk to Defeat ALS. This is just as serious as cancer and we need to find a cure. Ryan Garrison is just one of many here who have a personal connection to Lou Gehrig's disease. My father had ALS and he had it for two years and uh, he passed away in 04 and he was my Rock. ALS is a progressive disease, slowly attacking nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord, robbing a person's ability to move, speak, swallow, even breathe. The life expectancy after being diagnosed is typically between two and five years, and there's currently no known cure or known cause. That's why everyone here, connection or not, is rallying together. Yay! I mean, that means a lot to me that we're helping people that it, it means so much to and that people whose lives are affected by this. And just something so simple as this can impact somebody's life. It reminds me of a big family fighting to get this cure for people in the future that get diagnosed with ALS. Last year, the ALS Association saw record-breaking numbers thanks to awareness from the popular ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Organizers say the fundraising momentum is still being felt even on a local level. A few days ago, we already hit our, our goal for this year. So far, we've raised $46,000 for the ALS Association. And all that money raised goes towards the ALS Association for Research and Care Services. Those walking know every step will make a difference. Go Pappy Screw! Fundraising efforts continue. If you would like to learn more, you can visit our website, KOBI5.com.